Hello everybody, welcome back to Pie Cover. You deserve an applause. Yeah, thank you for coming and I really appreciate you guys every time you watch my videos. And this channel is about financial freedom through Bitcoin and teaching you about the Lightning Network, what's going on. Today's video, I'm going to go over the Bitcoin Network and there's some statistics. I don't want to go through all the readings today, but I'm just going to basically just, just give you a picture uh, of what is the Bitcoin Network way it is in the state because so many people misunderstood they see the chart they see the price go up but they don't understand that bitcoin is a new technology in its infancy and it's just getting started this is the s curve this is the curve for the internet users right so starting out of 1993 right so to today uh, let's say to our own, like 2021, let's say on 2021, this is the internet basically, uh, what it's doing. And you see, uh, this is uh, Bitcoin over there, down there, um, and, and crypto. So they just tasted Bitcoin crypto. Uh, but this is uh, the curve of the year, just getting started. It may probably going to be at uh, 250, okay? number 250. So the internet right now is at number 5,000. So you see like there's a long way to go. So it's extremely early, um, like uh, right now. Um, let's, uh, I, had, uh, I saw another interesting chart I wanted to show you guys. And this is the chart I promised you from the previous video. It was uh, the electricity, you know, the technology S curves, right? So you have over here, you have like uh, electricity, you have automobile, you have radio, you know, all, those are all the technologies uh, that came and they have their own S curve, right? There's, there was a point they started, there's a point they, they, they got like, uh, uh, you know, like bully, they got like, uh, you know, they said they're never going to succeed. And they said uh, it's too slow, it's too expensive, it, they use too much energy. You see all these things, and then boom, and it just explodes. So, basically, you know, they just uh, show you uh, basically what what they are doing over here. And you see, you see crypto over here, crypto is just, just getting started over here. You see, so yeah, uh, I mean. Uh, so uh it's it's really early guys there's you know the massive exponential uh didn't it didn't happen yet right so um like we just in a, a few a uh, few million users few hundred million users right so uh there's so much more to come um so this is really basically what i wanted to show you guys um everything else uh is is uh basically yeah, they just show you the some chart of gold and all the other chart. So, anyways, guys, um, and next let's go over the Bitcoin network, the Lightning network. Sorry. So real time Lightning network statistics, uh, number of nodes. They are about like seventeen thousand, right? Plus uh, nodes in the network, and you have uh, eighty thousand channels, right? And like I showed you before, you can have your own node, right? Connect to the Bitcoin network, just like this node over here. And once you connect to this, to the uh, network, Bitcoin network, you'll be able to open your Lightning. Uh, you have to connect uh, your Lightning node as well. And I also have a video teaching you how to simply get your uh, Bitcoin node and Lightning node, right? So it's very, very easy. Uh, I, I, I showed you step by step. Uh, you could uh, check on the uh, channel. This channel, you will find the video. And uh, if you can ask any question in the comment below, and I will uh, try to answer you. And the, the, this is the Lightning Network. Basically, in visual, uh, when, you, when you fully, uh, then when your node get fully synced, 
you will see you will be able to access your lightning network and uh, you will be able to connect to other peers and put some uh satoshis uh, uh you know in the open channels with uh you know by putting some satoshis on your uh, node and you can uh, facilitate the transaction and get some um, payment in terms of fees transaction fees so in terms of reward so yeah i i i showed you this uh, before now let's go over uh interesting stuff uh so i uh i wanted to show you guys some of those uh bitcoin in the uh, lightning economy so we know it's a small it's small right now but uh there are a lot of things going on you have the blue wallet really that's just like a um a lightning wallet uh, I, I know you really use this one, but uh, a lot of people use it. Uh, that's one of the uh, like uh, um, Wallet you could use but moon wallet is interesting as well. You have bit we feel uh, Build on top of lightning that's facilitating mm -hmm. that facilitate you to pay uh, using the lightning network Where you make transactions uh, on the lightning network uh, very easy simple uh beautiful um you have you could pay you know you uh, you could pay for your uh netflix right uh some people use it to pay for airbnb you know so this is the parallel uh uh system i'm talking about basically uh building uh to support the fallen uh the old system so so that the 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 the, the massive uh you know collapse doesn't affect uh, so many people so that's why i'm doing this to educate you guys uh coin mall basically is a peer to be marketplace to for virtual goods such as ebooks audiobooks games and software so uh that's nice we need more of those things not just everything on amazon um tipping me tipping that me so basically it's a wonderful site you could let let's say uh have you know get get a link and then post it on your uh, social media and somebody can just go there and then tip you a wonderful site and it's amazing and you have like uh lnsms that world uh also that's another uh website syntax worldwide and pay with lightning uh so you can send anybody text and then just pay using lightning so that's amazing right uh, so it's wonderful and you have uh, lightning wo roulette so uh, that's another that's a gambling site uh, so it's really up to you guys but it just those are just things that I really bought there so for anybody who is really interested so Satoshi's place as well uh web based the platform that enables anyone to paint right so amazing so amazing art and so many things right like uh, light spot you know powered proof of concept app hundred users to enable and we get to rent outdoor mobile connectivity to others so i mean it is going to be an explosion of innovation under on top of the lightning network and it's just the beginning um a lightning jam uh, uh okay so you see all those things you have ellen pizza there's a lot of things going on in the lightning network the lightning economy is going to be massive and i see it's not too many people pay attention and because so many people are being distracted by the propagandas main, mainstream propagandas they don't really get it they think bitcoin is uh old technology but they don't understand that lightning is the second layer that will facilitate all the magic um and you have other layers as well that's going to be on top of bitcoin so i'm only going to go quickly go to the uh some bitcoin mining uh uh interesting uh um uh tip uh, like just like an, ex an interesting clip i saw and i feel like in, in, like i can i want to share that with you guys so Amazing year from Hard Money Show. This is it. This is the sound of energy being transformed into economic value.
This operation is owned by Riot Blockchain, one of the largest U.S.-based publicly traded Bitcoin mining companies in North America. Riot is a leader, both in terms of hash rate, and we are a leader in the amount of infrastructure we've developed. CEO Jason Less says the explosion of mining activity is having a major impact on the growing Bitcoin economy, as well as one rural Texas community. Our facility called Windstone in Rockdale, Texas, was formerly an Alcoa aluminum smelting plant and a generation facility. When those went out of business 15 years ago, that was pretty devastating to that community. Windstone came in and said, we are going to build here because of the opportunity in the grid right here, and we are going to employ a lot of people, and that's exactly what they've done. Many residents are happy about the jobs, but many are also still asking, what is Bitcoin mining exactly? So Bitcoin mining is the consensus system whereby everyone who uses Bitcoin all over the world has a mechanism to agree on the valid state of the blockchain without having to trust each other. That's the underlying principle in Bitcoin, trustless finance. The fact is, Bitcoin has a very positive contribution to society, and that is a story that needs to be told. And that story is the future of hard money and the breakthrough technology that makes it possible in a digital form. You know, people use the term proof of work, uh, kind of describes Bitcoin's consensus system. Work was done to put that block forward, and therefore users know that the incentive system at Bitcoin mining is at play. Proof of work is the innovation which ties Bitcoin, a digital commodity, to the physical world of energy. That energy drives the properties that make Bitcoin valuable, much like many other advancements we've seen. So in other words, all these computers are turning electricity into money. Once you realize that Bitcoin is digital property, digital money, or digital energy, then it becomes clear that everything else you could possibly own is inferior to that. While critics claim the use of energy is excessive, Bitcoin mining in reality accounts for a tiny portion of global energy consumption. There was an article put out in 2017 predicting that Bitcoin mining would consume all of the world's energy by 2020. Yes, I saw that. Okay, well, I guess they're a little off. We only use one-tenth of a percent of the world's energy. And we've created an open, free, trustless financial system for the entire world. It's pretty good value. Many would argue it's a pretty good value compared with lots of other common uses of electricity. Social media uses energy. Video games uses energy. Christmas tree lights uses energy. No one looks at the energy consumption of those things. But another big benefit the mining industry provides is its potential to strengthen power grids, which have caught the attention of federal lawmakers like Senator Ted Cruz. So one way to think about Bitcoin and crypto mining is it's like a battery. It's a way of producing excess electricity that can be diverted back into the grid to meet critical needs in a time of emergency so it can enhance resiliency of the grid. From an environmental perspective, the case for Bitcoin is getting more and more compelling. Bitcoin miners, at the latest report, use an estimated 58% renewable energy. That's more than any other nation. That's more than any other major industry. So what do you think is the biggest misconception in the public about mining? Is it the energy use, or is there something else that people just have a difficult time understanding and grasping? I, I, yeah, I think it, it really is the energy use. I think the epiphany comes when you realize that it is the dominant digital property network, and digital property is better than physical property in every way conceivable. I want immortal, indestructible, infinite, all-powerful, programmable energy. Our quality of life, our life. All right, guys, so I hope you uh, enjoyed this. Uh, and let, this is basically from the uh, this uh, channel of... Uh, Bitcoin Magazine, Hard Money Show. I'm gonna give them credit for that and I'll put the link below. And the next video basically is gonna be an interesting, interesting uh, uh, take about the Bitcoin, how Bitcoin is helping saving the uh, environment, right? Instead of, well, you know, in, uh, you know, throwing those gas into the atmosphere, we just capturing that and transform that into Bitcoin uh, hard money. Was a lot about oil. He spent a decade in the industry as a heavy oil and gas engineer, and over the years, he saw a common problem. There's a lot of bent gas and waste gas uh, off the upstream oil wells here. It's been a problem that pretty much 
any local oil company has been trying to attack for a long time. With that in mind, Barber came up with a unique solution when he formed the company Upstream Data. Its data centers can be tied into oil wells and powered by excess gas on site. They use that energy to run computers that mine for Bitcoin. When I learned about Bitcoin and it was energy intensive, uh, it's sort of it's pretty obvious that you could just drop a Bitcoin mine on an oil well and uh, consume the waste gas. But the process is pretty simple. We just build a, a gen set, like a natural gas engine that's fueled by the gas. Uh, it generates electricity, and then we distribute that electricity to the computers, to the Bitcoin machines. The gas is coming through here. Is getting stepped down in pressure to feed the engines. So no pipelines needed. There's no pipelines in the ground going to any other facility. The gas is just coming straight into these engines and uh, mining Bitcoin. It's a V8 engine uh, generating electricity and powering the Bitcoin mines, pushing air into the engine side. And this is what's doing all the work. Each of those computers will consume anywhere from 900 to uh, 1400 watts of power. And it'll load that engine up, the engine will consume the gas. Bitcoin is a digital currency. While it's not the only so-called cryptocurrency. So, alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This is all I got for today. And please subscribe, like, share. I have a lot of interesting take on Bitcoin and I have a lot of knowledge uh, so far. I, I spent more than 1,000 hours studying uh, this technology. And I got wrecked a lot uh, on this altcoin. So I got some experience and I don't want you to go through the same pain I went through. Just learn from mine so you don't have to go through the same problems. So um, I dedicate uh, a lot of time and energy to help you guys get it right the first time. At least the second time. So you don't have to uh, you know, go through all the pain I see a lot of people are going through. Educate yourself. Uh, don't get wrecked. Don't let uh, people uh, manipulate you. If you need uh, a lot of uh, information about Bitcoin, it's better to get it from the right source instead of the mainstream media uh, evil. Uh, so I w hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you again. Uh, have a wonderful day.